Hi there. <clears throat> My name is Timothy Trespass, and uh, I'm suffering with more gallons and targeting and the rest. Uh, I'm in New York City, and mostly New York City is hot and loud and crowded and psychically overfilled and, you know, noisy and stuff going on all the time. Cars and trucks and sirens and fire engines and ambulances and fights and fires and, you know, just you name it, it happens here 24-7. And in that energetic constant, there are very few moments in our lives, city dwellers, where we get to experience the relief and the joy and the comfort of the things that people in the natural world get to live in. Uh, what am I saying? Well, this is one of the few moments in New York that just reminds me of how good life can really be. And I know it's kind of pathetic, but hey, here it is. When the water comes from the fire hydrant like this and you sit here for a moment, you get all wet and um, but the thing is, this is illegal because when you leave it open this long and this hard uh, it drops the pressure and somewhere else some poor soul could be burning to death and of course the hose men can't put out the fire because there's not enough pressure. So what they do is they give you some caps that you put onto the uh, hydrants. The other thing is, uh, most of the hydrants, you can't turn them on and off with a great big huge wrench anymore. They have a special magnetic thing inside. So you see the kids, they break these speakers up and they take the magnets and they put them on top of the, the fire hydrant and they turn those with a big wrench or something and eventually they get it open. And with a cap, it sprays out enough water. It's got a few holes in it. But this is, uh, you know, one of the things I used to see a lot when I first came here. One of the reasons I liked it. And, you know, I'm walking along hot and dirty and sweaty. And now my feet are wet and my socks are wet and my legs are wet. And I'm cool and it's wonderful. And I just wanted to share that with you because I don't really have a lot of other people to share stuff with <laughs> anymore. So, for those of you who uh, watch this, thank you, and uh, even though I may not know who you are, my prayers are with, with humanity and with the people who suffer the most. God bless us all. Oh, the one thing I wanted to mention is that water has been proven to have a, a memory, uh, an emotional, a psychic energy memory. And um, Dr. Emoto uh, has shown in freezing the crystals with water that's been exposed to emotions. And so water not only picks up all these emotions, but it takes your emotions with it. Uh, and it's an interchange. And as you watch it flow, and move and go towards the lowest points back to the sea to the great reserve and it takes some of the, the pain and the suffering and the hurt and the anger and the fear and the loneliness and the worry and the along with the other stuff the joy and the pleasure and the love and the, it's all in there I gotta get going because I'm starting to shiver from all this wonderful, cool water. Like I said, my body can, can't control its temperature anymore, so thanks for watching. And uh, God bless you.